Admiral's Log, July 22nd, 1931. While the Italians gave us some resistance, it really wasn't that much to speak of. I've mostly used this little conflict to hone the skills of our crews as the Italian ships were basically target practice. Their fast light cruisers in particular were very suited for this as they were so hard to hit. Aside from that, I have gotten some good testing done on our other new ships. The Fritjof, with her 18.9 inch guns, turned out to be a little underwhelming. She finished construction without a radar and with the first iteration of her 18.9 inch guns. That means her rate of fire is terrible and her accuracy is similarly dreadful. Now Fritjof's crew is relatively new and it is a new weapon system so I'm willing to give them a chance to improve. I've immediately ordered a refit for the class to be drawn up to make these ships more effective. We cannot have the pride of the fleet be ineffective against the enemy, especially against such an insignificant foe as the Italians. The campaign against the Italians is now concluded. We left the Italians with a mere 29 ships. Right as we signed the peace treaty, the British decided that this was their moment to shine. They immediately declared war on the Italian ships and outnumber them two to one. The Austro-Hungarians in the meanwhile have used their quiet time to strengthen their fleet further. They now count 142 ships. They outnumber us two to one. We don't know anything about their ships as relations with our old ally are no longer anywhere near what they used to be. My friend in the intelligence service told me that he still has agents in Austria-Hungary, but they aren't saying much. We're not getting any wiser there. We'll just have to meet their ships on the high seas to determine that Germany has the better ships. Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome to episode 24. We are once again at war with the Italians. I didn't really mean to do this, but you know, accidents happen. Now, what I meant to do was have this fleet over here and this fleet over here not piss off the Italians, but intercept Austro-Hungarian ships. They are my real target. They are the ones I want to engage because the Austro-Hungarians now have 142 ships. That's a lot. Thankfully, they're not building any more. But look at that naval budget. That's a billion. I have quite a naval budget as well. Currently, I'm 1.1 billion because I'm at war. Their economy is still bigger than mine and it's growing like crazy. So this has me concerned and I was trying to provoke the Austro-Hungarians into a war. It is the Italians, with their temper, that took offense and I am now again at war with the Italians. They have 10 battleships left, 6 battlecruisers, 4 heavy, 7 lights and 4 DDs. So we'll just have to take those down. In the meanwhile, I have been refitting some of my ships, such as the um, the Braunschweig and the Beowulf. These are both ships of the 18.9 inch gun persuasion. Grosse Kurfürst is still sitting in the North Sea in Emden. She is ready to get underway. It's one of the Fritjofs. I'm more or less keeping her close in case the British decide to stir up some shit. I don't expect them to. So, and actually, I suppose I can send it out. I might need it in case the Austro-Hungarians do decide that they take offense to my activities in the Mediterranean and that they want to engage. But look at that. 100% relationship with the Austro-Hungarians. That's not what I want to see. I do not want to be aligned with these people. As for research, I'm still generally researching everything. Um, might not be the best way to go about it. But I don't really have any strict priority at the moment. Nothing short of, of course, uh, bolstering my economy some more. Look at that. Naval budget is 7% of GDP. That's quite a lot. I can also upgrade my tech budget, but I don't want to do it too much because I want to fill up my naval funding a bit more. So let's say I want to keep about 50 million in reserve or 50 million surplus. Now, it looks like we have an opportunity to gauge some of these Italian ships. Madonna del Nacional, uh, San Pascale and Odace. It's going to be the worth one of the last surviving Pommerns. Yes, believe it or not, I've been scrapping these things because I believe I can get more functionality out of the Mars class and out of the new battleships 
than the Worth or the, the Pomerans. So I have been scrapping some of them, especially since I was at uh, peace quite a bit and I just needed the money. I needed the money and those ships were costing me a lot. Now, um, these guys, front and stern, 16.9ers, and of course the Mars. This thing has seen a lot. If I'm not mistaken, the Mars has been around since 1920. So this ship is now 11 years old. She's been very fit a lot. And she is very capable of still dealing with a lot of enemies. Okay. Um, you're already engaging at 8.3%. Wow. At a range of 26 clicks. Holy moly. Alright. Um, DDs, let's go. We got a whole lot of DDs here, so we're going to make that one big happy div. Not with the CLs, thank you very much. Detach. Also have seven heavy cruisers here together. I'm going to have you guys in a the div. There we go. Alright, uh, DDs, this way please, don't avoid collisions. CAs, let's go. Is that the Kaiserin already engaging? No, it was the Friedrich. Friedrich Karl. Friedrich Karl is one of the new ships. Um, she has a very strong bow armament. Accuracy not great. She has radar. Yeah, it's not great. What are you trying to hit? Something small? Is that the problem? Focus on something big. Yeah, now we got 2% chance to hit. We were focusing on something a little smaller, like a <laughs> like a battle cruiser. Anyway, um We got the Kaiserin Augusta, but this, the Friedrich Karl, is I think currently a more interesting ship because it's untested. And with a low armament on the stern, these things benefit a lot from going bow in. That's also where most of their armor is. I do think they look really interesting. I think they look really, really interesting for a ship like this. It does look like it's a bit stern heavy, which is unlikely because I balanced these out almost to perfection. Oh, it's just, just a lot of sea state, a lot of uh, waves. Yeah, slight waves. Sure. Okay. Now, I really wasn't hoping to go to war with the Italians. I mean, I've kicked the Italians enough. They currently don't need further kicking, I believe. They're... I don't think they have much to give me at the moment. I don't think that they have that much to provide when it comes to the spoils of war. And I do believe that the Austro-Hungarians are still at war with them as well. Which means that they're even less likely to provide any generous donations. Gentlemen, focus on the battleship. Heavy cruisers, focus on the battleship. DDs, focus on the battleship. Ah, oh, the Mars has been detected. I really would love another battle cruiser, something faster. Because these battleships with their 16.9ers, especially 18.9ers, are nice. Their accuracy and combat capabilities are fantastic. Their rate of fire is terrible. And a battle cruiser could be the balancing factor that I might need. What the hell? Why are you doing 18 knots? What the fuck is going on here? Oh, we hit something else. The DD is taking a lot of damage. Accidentally. Sorry. Shouldn't have gotten in the way. Destroyed secondary gun. Pen. Flooding. Damage to the main tower. Have you done any damage? Yes, you have. Against what? A heavy? Uh, Kaiserin Augusta has taken some damage, but nothing very serious. And I'm keeping my ships well outside the range. Let's smoke up the DDs. And half the DDs go after the battle cruiser. While we do a full turn and maintain distance from the secondaries. 
You guys are in a fairly decent position to deal damage. Damage the main tower. There goes the DD. Heavies, if you have secondaries, go for this. I'm really quite concerned about what this thing can do. Torpedo-wise, because that's... 12 torpedoes that they can put in the water. And they did, against the DD. Uh, which DD? The 22. So your torpedo is going to end up here. Means we're going to have to have this whole group disengage now. <clears throat> uh, and everybody's permitted to panic. We have to avoid the torpedoes, and I'm not sure how well I'm able to spot them here. DDs are changing direction. Hundred and six damage done here. Forty-two damage done with a battleship. It's disgustingly low. Oh, dude, you might want to get out of the way. Well, that was close. Okay, you're good. Seven, five, and three are still potentially at risk. Okay, we're fine. A duchy is down. Perfect. I'm not interfering with the course changes on the DDs. This is all them. Oh fuck, that torpedo just changed course. B3 noticed. And is adjusting. Move! Good man. I am considering retiring these classes of destroyer. Oh shit. Um, the reason being, they're not... Well, they're not bad. That's not the issue, they're not bad. They have done a lot of work for me. They're just kind of superseded by these guys. This is eight guns. This is another eight guns. We also have the 19... eight guns. We also have the 12 guns destroyers. They're just a lot better. They're 10 million. Uh, the V3 is also 9 million, but it has about half the firepower. So that's why I'm seriously considering just removing the other ships from service. Now, I completely forgot about these, of course. They're not even moving. The heavy cruiser here took a bit more damage than I would like. The Kaiserin. You guys go for the battle cruiser. So I believe that with a flat broadside like this, we'll be able to inflict quite a bit of damage. Flooding on the battleship. Let's have a look at the Friedrich Karl, one of the new heavies. Oh, that's a pretty nice thumbnail there, thank you. There. What other ships do I have here? Bavaria, same class. Seitlitz, same class. And Lützow, one of the older... Not the Hansas. No, they might be the Hansas. I'm not sure. I've At this point I've had so many different ship classes that I'm struggling to remember which is which. DDs, cancel all panic actions and maintain pressure on the enemy. Madonna seems to be stationary. Yeah, 1.7 knots. All we have to do now is finish her off. And the heavy cruisers are just picking her apart. This 20,000 damage was largely done by the 11 inch guns on the heavy cruisers and the 5 inch guns on the destroyers, I suspect. Although, these guys also got 5 inches. Go on. Battle cruiser starting to flood. The battleship is dead. San Pascale. Where are you guys at? All the way over there. Okay. So they're taking fire from pretty much every which way. Uh, the DDs are a bit too far out, but it's fine. It's not like this ship is going to go anywhere. So, 29,000 damage done. 
It's another kicking of the Italian fleet. I'm really interested to see what the Austro-Hungarian fleet have. I really want to know what sort of ships I can expect from them. Do I need to repair anything? Yeah, probably one cruiser, maybe a few DDs. I think there's much more to repair than that. Yeah, not too bad. Oh boy! Oh boy. Here is the Italian fleet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven battleships. One, two, three battle cruisers and various escorts, including the Umbria, which is one of their light cruisers of the torpedo group, if you will. Uh, that's the 9341-ton nine, nine, uh, heavy cruiser, light cruiser. And these guys are slightly older, don't carry as many torpedoes, and their side mounts not to be discarded. Fritjof is once again present, it has been upgraded with a new radar and the Mark II 17.9ers. So I'm hoping to get more accuracy out of her this time. Also present, Preussen, Pommern, battlecruisers Friedrich der Grosse and Sachsen. A fleet of heavy cruisers, light cruisers and a lot of destroyers. Let's go for the Italian battle group. Here's the final lineup. The Italians have 10 capital ships and 9 smaller ships. I have five capital ships, but they have far bigger guns. I have another uh, eight, 16 escorts. So we'll be fine. Now, I want to have Pommern, Fritjof, and Preussen in one group. I want to have the battle cruisers go somewhere else. Let me check that the Fritjof is indeed upgraded. Yes, Generation Raider 1, Mark II guns, regular crew training, so their accuracy and reload are better. To the point where they reload in 137 seconds. That's a lot better. Okay, I want all the destroyers in one big task force. No. Hold on, you've been damaged. I don't want damaged chips in my divisions, thank you. Retreat. These DDs into this group. V2 is very slightly damaged. I'm willing to accept that. Let's see, heavy cruisers here. Let's merge these. It's not the same ships as last time, no. Uh, this is the Irene, new ship. Michelle, old, old ship. It's the old hull. We got the Thor, new ship. Up in Algarve Spey with the turrets and midships. Yeah, these cruisers are going to have some fun. Cruisers just want to have fun. All the destroyers to the front, please. Sea state. Ooh, evening. Normally that would be not great. Since most, if not all, of my ships have radar. I don't really care that much. It was the Irene that spotted it. That's interesting. Fritjof, 8% chance to hit. Yes, please. That's more like it. We're going to slow these battleships down. To full speed, so they cruise nicely. We're gonna have the battle cruisers run at flank. What? At flank. What? Why not, people? Nope. Okay, the battle cruisers will not run at flank. Alright, fine. Be like that. Uh, the CLs. What are we going to do with Köln, the Berlin, and Gazelle? Just go there, I guess, in front of the battleships. We don't really need to be doing maximum speed. Poison opening up with 10% chance to hit. With this many shells in the air, we're bound to hit something. And I mean, there's no shortage of Italian targets, so yeah. Go broadside. 8.3% chance to hit, not stellar, Fritjof. This is such a nice ship. It just looks intimidating. 11%. Come on. Give me a hit. The issue that I do see with my ships is that they might not pick battleships as the next big target. They're going to pick something else. I mean, they should be engaging this. It's not only the big... No, sorry. 
partial. Is that an SAP shell? Probably. Okay, this is the target. This is the target. Look at that, the 8.9s are getting into range. Means that the 11s are already in range. I'm gonna have these guys run up. The DDs. Slow you down a touch. Just use the DDs as a screen in front of the battleships and battlecruisers. What are we shooting? No. Shoot this. You guys probably don't have the range yet, so you're free to engage the heavy cruiser that's coming up ahead. Fritjof is doing some spotting. Oh, that was a good hit. That was a 15-inch shell from the Saxon. Very nice. Fritjof, 13% chance to hit. The ship has come a long way relative to her previous encounter. That upgrade did a lot of work for me. Now we're now being detected, so we're going to start taking fire. I don't necessarily want my ships to take damage. Good hit. 15 inch. That was another 15 inch. That was another 15 inch. That's how you quickly get rid of a battleship. That was a 17.9. That was a Fritjo with a partial pen. That was a... <laughs> Not supposed to hit you. DDs maintain a screening position. Heavies status. You're still behind. Fine. Yeah, I still think we need to eliminate the big ships first. This guy is not even the target. No. Just got in the way repeatedly. So yeah, then you're going to have to face the consequences of getting in the way repeatedly. Damage the main tower, main tower again, destroyed secondary. Destroyed secondary. This guy's going to be dead very quick. Wow, that's a really, really high arc. Are you on the maximum range or something? Pretty much. No, 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 Palmer, don't leave. Don't leave. Go. This battleship definitely getting singled out nicely. The rest of their ships, I feel, are all detected at this stage and should be getting dealt with. I mean, right after we knock out this battleship. Just so long as something doesn't get in the way or it doesn't get in torpedo range, we should be fine. What is this? Well, 15s. Have we seen this before? Probably have. Probably just forgot about it. Can we please knock this thing out? Oh, I cannot tell you what chance the pen is. Uh, Berlin. You're a bit close there, my friend. Floyson took a hit. I don't want to get this close. Battlecruisers? Move to the flank. So far, I have a fairly orderly line of battle. Not sure how long I can keep it that way. Come on. Finish her. Thank you. More flooding. I respect the Italian tenacity here. They're taking a ton of hits, yet... They're still absorbing the hits and not really getting killed because of it. Yet. I wonder how much crew they've lost. I think we won't know because the ship will be dead before we know. Before we get full identification on it. Taken 1.2k damage. Oh shit! Pomeran's flooding. What, what hit you? The 15s? Yeah, the 15s. Okay, start to turn back slightly. 
Armor's done 1200 damage. Fritjof's done 1.2. Poison's done 3. Pretty good. 21% chance to hit. I think we might not be able to pen with the SAP. No. Although... No. 200 damage. No, actually there was one pen. An overpen on secondary for 1500 damage. From Fritjof. The stanza... Yeah, we've seen these before, definitely. I remember that 96 million price tag. <clears throat> Come on, kill it! Good lord. How many hits have you taken? Almost 400. There we go. Okay. Um, any high priority? Nothing yet. Have you taken another hit? No. Somebody has. Or so it would seem. Fritjof's now leading the div, because she's the least damaged ship. Yeah, let's fling high explosive, just make sure it's at a battleship. Let's see what the high explosives from the Fritjof can do. 24% chance to hit. Take those odds. That's not going to hit. I want to see these massive damage numbers. That's what we're here for, Fritjof. Well, she's taken a lot of damage so far, that's for sure. Oh shit, here's the Umbria. That's the light cruiser with all the torpedo spam. The V1 has taken some damage. Battle cruisers, you guys too. Kill this with a passion. It needs to die. It's already torpedoing destroyers. And since the destroyers are screening for the battle cruisers, it's probably already uh, torpedoing the battle cruisers too. This thing needs to die. It might very well be the last of their class. It needs to go. Main tower has been destroyed on the San Michel. So far, Fritjof hasn't hit him. That's for sure. Eleven percent chance to hit. Or sorry, chance to pen. Right. Ooh. Hold on, destroyers. Yeah, here we go. Destroyers, dodge mode enabled. We're getting a bit too close with the DDs, meaning that we're starting to take a few too many hits. That was a huge hit. That was a 16.9er from a battleship. The Preussen. Preussen dealing 3,000 damage against the San Michel. Very nice. Now, could we please... Hit this, perhaps, because this torpedo soup is bound to get me killed, or at least hit. There are so many torpedoes and I have so many ships that managing every single one individually is going to be a total mess. Umbria is proving so difficult to hit. Okay, you're fine. V-17 needs to get out of the battle. Detach, retreat. What are you guys dealing with next? A light cruiser. You're also going for the Umbria. I don't think so. Is this one large mess of battleships here? Ah, oh, the Bastarda again. Been a while. Target the Perla. She's broadside. We're gonna single her out and eliminate her. Parmen okay? She hasn't taken any more damage anyway. Secondaries on the Monzambano. DD status. So far, I have not taken a torpedo, but we're not quite in the clear yet. Shit, the heavies also need to start dodging. Shit. Saxon might take a hit. Let 
Unless she speeds up. Not the rudder. Dodged it. Dodd. Didn't dodge it. This thing's been shot at 900 times and I barely hit them. Oh, hold on. This guy's far closer. Target that, please. CLs, this way. CAs. Another dud on the Saxon. I guess the Italians haven't been researching their torpedoes very well. Or the Saxon just got exceedingly lucky. So far, I'm not terribly impressed with what the Fritschoff is delivering. This is the ship that has one of the biggest guns in the fleet. Yet, I'm not really seeing a whole lot of effect. Yes, they've done 4400 damage, but that's a drop in the bucket. Well, it's about 10%. Uh, relative to the rest of the fleet. It's the 15-inch guns that have done most of the work. Oh no. This thing is not supposed to be anywhere near the front line. It just torpedoed. Oh, this is going to turn into a fucking mess. It means that... Yeah, there we go. Berlin... I want you to chase this fucker down, now. Oh, there's the crippled V-17. Oh boy, you do have a torpedo blister-ish, anti-torp 1. It's not a whole lot. Battleship div, secondaries. Heavy cruiser status? Irene took a torp? Yeah. Okay, Irene, that gives you permission to leave. Rest the he Oh, fuck, not all the heavies are singled. One, two, three, four. Ugh. Rush Bay with you. Four with you. Did something take a torp? Kuhn took a massive torp hit. Oh, Jesus. Like I said, this is going to be a mess. I'd still rather have a light cruiser eat a torpedo than Fritschov. Because that is a lot more expensive. We've been shooting at it for 1800 shells. And we still have nothing to show for it? What the hell? I don't think I can save the Kun. Too badly damaged. Heavy cruisers. Let's turn back into the fight, because there is still a lot that needs doing. Köln is dead. He just torpedoed the Berlin again. Berlin, slow down. Poison, fuck this thing up. Get the mains on that, load the high explosive, and start fucking it up. Nope, missed it. 100% chance to hit. Missed it. I'll to select. Come on. We got more turrets that are ready. This thing is so annoying. Look at this. 16,000 damage done by the entire fleet. 11,000 was done by this one cruiser. Incredibly dangerous ship. Missed. Or blocked? I think blocked. It should be going down now, though. It seems to be flooding. Yeah, she's done, finally. High casualties. It's not the first time that's taken them down. Now, the rest of these are less dangerous, torpedo-wise. But we're not clear. We're not done yet. 
Okay, we got Preussen, Fridtjof, Pommern. Yeah, perfect. Uh, you're supposed... Deutschland, just checking, but you're supposed to be going with the rest of your div, right? Not solo. Idiot. Stop the torpedo avoidance. The battle cruisers are still nicely on the flank. A bit far, especially to be shooting a battle. Oh, sorry, to be shooting a CL. Preussen flooding. These guys are all just ignoring my orders because they're still in panic mode. Torpedo dodge mode. That is so annoying. Some good damage there. That's a nice secondary kill. <clears throat> Monzambano. Yeah, she just got in the way. So, the, let's say, 100% accuracy bug feature kicked in. To the point where she just had nowhere to go. And the Kataro is doing it as well. Those torpedoes are not going to be a problem. Good. Kill the Kataro. Dead. Kill the Giovanni. We're going to kill some of these torpedo-capable warships first. Because they currently scare me more than their battleships. CLs. Make short work of the DDs. Why the hell are you retreating through the main line? Forgot about the DDs. Oh, Jesus, where's your friend? Here? This is what I mean. The ships just maintain their torpedo avoidance mode for far, far longer than you strictly need. They could have re-engaged far before they currently did. Fuck off with the destroyer. I really don't care about getting hit by a torpedo. I really don't care for it. No, you moron, don't put the main guns on the DD. That's the target for the main guns. Dead. Next. We're firing high explosive against the battleship? Why is that? We are not. Gazelle's flooding. Come on. This is your department, CLs. Taking out this destroyer. There goes the Eridano. Uh, sorry, Eridano. Um, who would like to go next? Regina del Mar. Going for you next. Animoso is dead. Even this destroyer doesn't want to leave. There's the Goita. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I completely missed that salvo. Goito is down. Palmer took a hit. Fritjof needs to correct course if she wants to prevent getting hit as well. There's still some heavy cruiser trash back there. I think we're going to cut the Italian Navy by 50%. No! We're going to cut them by 50% now. Ooh, you lucky ship. Preussen, still fairly close, good. Battle cruiser still in the fight. Well... One of them. Oh, the other one's still in the fight as well. 7.5k damage done. 7.6. They're fairly okay. I'm gonna split them. Just have this guy push in a bit more. 
What are you shooting? Uh, Gina. Switch to the farmer. Eighteen K done so far. Half by the seventeen point niners, half by the eights. Okay. That's interesting. I was expecting a bit more from these 17.9 inch guns. I mean, big guns. Big boom. Right? Wrong. Fritjof. Show me what you got. There we go. 2,000 damage. Almost 2,100 by... The Fritschov against the Regina del Mar. Excellent. Poison turn. This is what I want to see from the Fritschov. This is the type of damage number I'm looking for. Saxon taking some fire, nothing too serious. Secondary guns are getting blown up. Where's my DD group again? Elsewhere. Heavy cruisers. Oh, good lord. What the fuck is your problem? Look at this. Thor is supposed to follow the Graf Spee. They're 23 kilometers away. They're probably going to just ignore this order. This bug should have been resolved 15 patches ago, for fuck's sake. Oh, this really tilts me. I mean, there is just no reason why we're still seeing that formation thing fuck up. Simply because the AI just refuses to come off of their torpedo avoidance mode. That's why they're not listening to my orders. Had they been just listening and doing what they were told... I would have been able to deal a bunch more damage because I would have had the division where I would want them, not spread out with 20 clicks between them. You, go and kill off this battleship. 1% chance to pen. Okay. 17 finally dies. 17 was also... Just staying in this fight for far too long. Look at this, the Michelle. Supposed to turn to port. Nope. Not doing it. Get your ass over here. You idiot warship. Oh, you're single-handedly taking down a battleship. I like you. I think we're in the end game phase now. Light cruisers are pitching in very nicely. Six and a half K, eight and a half K. Poison thirty two K. Very nice. This is an auto class. Essentially a super Bismarck. Fritch off twenty three K, Palmer in eleven K. Maybe I should make an upgraded version of the Auto class. They have radar now, right? Yeah, they got Generation 1 radar. Good. All Italian ships are atta uh, getting attention. Maybe with the exception of the Perla over there. DDs to engage that right there. Graf Spee. Let's go. Deutschland. The Michelle instantly stopped. What? Have you tried rebooting your ship? Where's the Freddy? Here's the big Fred. Murdering a heavy cruiser, as one does. There goes the Bolzano. There goes the Fama. Yeah, we got them surrounded. There's nowhere to go. They're too slow to retreat. They're going to lose their entire 
task force. It did cost me more than I would like. And I gotta say, the Frichov got extremely lucky, considering that she was hit twice by torpedoes, and twice they were duds. That could have ended very differently. With a lot of damage on the Frichov. Yeah, finish this off. DDs are stalking from 9.5 kilometers out. Freddy's over there. Where's the other one? Where's Saxon? Ah, yes. Oh, hi. <laughs> one's going clockwise. The other one's going counterclockwise. Bakana is down. Vettor Pisani. I'm probably butchering the Italians. Uh, well, I mean the language. I'm butchering the Italian. I'm sorry. This is pretty painful. This is going to yield me 10,000 victory points? Something in that ballpark? Done. They got the battleship. What they got left? One battleship here. Vinzaglia. Sorry, Vinzaglio. But not if you keep detonating your ammo. BC Bastarda is dead. It's just sinking ships everywhere. Yeah, you're done. You're done. Last man standing. Battle ends. Done. Turns into a long episode with battles like these. Now, um, 22,536 victory points. 19 ships sunk. I believe they had 28, 29. So, yeah. The Italian Navy, as we know it, just ended. I lost the Köln. I lost the V-17. If I lose two light cruisers and they lose seven battleships and three battle cruisers, two heavies and five lights and two DDs, I consider that a win. It's going to cost me a pretty penny in repairs. Fortunately, I still have a, a decent surplus in my budget. Yes, I will agree to a peace treaty. I'm not sure if they're actually going to listen to it, but we'll see. Some light damage, light, 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 sunk, light, 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 medium. Okay. They lost five transports. Oh, we can engage a convoy? Eh. How many ships they got left? Eleven. And keep in mind, I'm not the only party fighting them. The Italians are also at war with the British. The war with the Austro-Hungarians apparently finished pretty quick. But the war with the British is still ongoing. Interestingly. Right, well, we'll see how about uh, that in the next episode. For now, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you soon for the next.